Well, maybe you get a little bit confused about this, but the thing is you cannot the electric affect the electrostatic charge using the magnets. Uh, hello guys, today I decided to talk about my new prototype of Odyssey Car X1 uh, with some different uh, schematics and I'm going to describe all the working principles uh, that will be applied to this prototype. So welcome back to KGM channel and if you want to see other of my videos uh, make sure you click the link in the description. Uh, recently I've been receiving some of the messages of people who wanted me to upload the explanation videos about my prototype here and how I use the magnetohydrodynamics uh, principles. So starting from the beginning I first used this schematic here because I wanted to uh, affect the electromagnetic fields uh, produced by the electrostatic charge uh, applied to the plates. But uh, but according to some of my experiments that I carried out uh, long ago, like two months ago, I finally used this schematic here. Uh, as you see, we have uh, three discs now. Uh, upper disc, a lower disc, and the middle disc. I think you know what I'm trying to say here because when I rotate the the magnets around this stationary disc, uh, we are going to directly have the EMF from the stationary disc and this is really going to help us affect the EMF we got from the electrostatic charge. And you have to know that this phenomena takes some time to resonate correctly, like one or two hours long. And I think this is the reason why Alyssa Chikov always waits uh, when he is trying to revitate his gravifier, as they say. <laughs> Начинается, начинается. Сейчас, сейчас поймаем момент отрыва. Пошла, 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 пошла. Есть. Есть. Сейчас, сейчас, сейчас. Зафиксируем, попробуем. Попробуем стабилизировать положение, чтобы не шаталось. Uh, this is what I was talking about here. Mm, I think you've seen it. He always waits for his craft to resonate collectory. Сейчас минутку. Вот это кольцо сейчас пропустим через этот верх. Как видите, тут нет разрывов, ничего. Сейчас я накинусь. Итак, убираем клемму. Надо уже постоянно регулировать. Вот она все висит. Она даже смотрится как НЛО домашняя гравицапа. Сейчас убираю клемму с, с качера, и она сейчас долбанется. Не так быстро, правда? Медленно. Все убрал. Сейчас ждем минутку. Есть. So when you are dealing with this anti-gravity stuff, the only thing you just have to take care of is the frequency and the response of your object. What I'm trying to say here is that you don't have to do this stops by guessing you just have to measure the frequency you are applying and measure the response you are receiving from the object for example when you change a little bit on the frequency and you hear something unusual on your craft like when it vibrates rapidly uh, without changing any other thing but the frequency this is very good for you to start writing these effects so i hope to see you guys in my next video and if you like this video make sure you click the subscribe button on my channel and if you want to see other of my videos uh, like this this is the best way to keep you updated